experience is one of the key things that employers look out for when they want to give out employment. Some of them look for one year, two years, three years of experience, while some of them look for 10 years, 12 years, 15 years of experience. And this has added to the number of unemployment, unemployed individuals that we have. Now we're on the streets of Lagos to meet Lagosians who have either directly or indirectly experienced rejection as a result of lack of experience. We want to find out from them if they happen to be in the position of the boss, would they rather employ a 50-year-old with wealth of experience or employ a fresh graduate? Join me on the streets of Lagos as we meet them. This is brought to you by Coded TV. I am eWealth. If you happen to be a boss of an organization, would you choose a 50-year-old with wealth of experience over a fresh graduate? Uh, if I'm a boss of an organization or of any company, and as an Englishman will say that um, experience is, is the best teacher, and experience, once you have experience in a certain thing, uh, it is certain, uh, let me say, okay, let me put it, you have an experience, uh, so much experience, and if I'm, if I'm going to, um, um, employ anybody, I would rather go for the experience than to choose a fresh graduate because most of the fresh graduates we have, they just most of them are, uh, are not really experienced. They don't have that that capability to do to do what I I, I would I would want them to do for my company. Okay, good. With what you have said now, if we do not employ these people because they don't have experience at all, how then do they get this experience? It depends. Uh, number one, it depends on um, on the position available. If, if, at all, if at all there's a position that will be needing an experienced person, I would rather go for the experienced person. And if, there is a if the position is not meant for the person that is experienced, I would, I would still employ and give them a try and put them. That is why you have, um, sorry, I'm not really feeling comfortable with this thing. That is why you have um, uh, a situation whereby you, have, you, um, you create a seminar or you take them, to, um, you take them on a seminar or you go, uh, take them on a workshop to, to go and learn some certain skills. If at all they don't have the skills for them to, um, for them to do that job, I take them on a, okay, a three-month, six-month seminar to, to acquire knowledge so that they, can, they, they will be able to meet up with whatever I want in my right. organization. Thank you so much. I'd rather go with a fresh graduate. Why would you do that? <laughs> because I believe she, uh, he or she is current. And uh, I believe that they will learn faster and they will take more instruction than the older person. Okay, thank you so much. Experience or a fresh graduate? Yeah, I think I will employ um, a 50-year-old with a world of experience. Why would that be? Just like I said, because he has the experience. But a fresh graduate might not really have the experience. So I prefer someone that actually has the experience to work with than a fresh graduate. Now, do you know that if that 50-year-old was not given um, the chance to start as a fresher, he or she would not have gained the wealth of experience? So are you saying you don't give room for learning? I wouldn't say so, but at the same time, most of the time we have people that are experienced that are not given the opportunity to, to exercise that. In, uh, should I bring down this? No, please. Okay. You know, we have people that are not given the, ex the, the, the exposure or, or are not allowed to to show what they have because right now most times if someone's apply for a job they'll tell you because you're not a fresh graduate you're not within the age of 20 to 25 or this and that so it makes those older ones that had experience not to be opportuned to do this job so my own understanding i feel we should also give the older ones the opportunity which presently is not being given because most people always prefer okay i want someone that is 20 to 25 like for them banks for example they'll tell you i want the younger ones what about the older ones we should give them the opportunity also so that's what i feel okay thank you I employ him because... Which of them? 50 years. Because if he have experience of the copying, you understand, I employ him. Because uh, many people today who, have, who, have, uh, who go to school, who finish school, some people don't have experience how to sell or how to work well. They just read the course and don't have the experience. 
Yeah, there's so, time. So you feel you feel it is the one the fifty year old man a fifty year old man that has experience that can do the work better. Yes, if he has a, a ability to work well, I employ him. All right, thank you so much. If you happen to be the boss of an organization, would you employ a fifty year old with experience over a fresh graduate? I will employ a fresh graduate. is isn't because I, will, I need to give everybody the opportunity. You train him in the job. He's going to do very well. Even more than the 50 years old with experience. So instead of us waiting and looking for 50 years old with experience, when there are so many jobless young graduates around, I think I would prefer to employ a young graduate That's than good. train him in the job. He's going to do far better. All right. Thank you so much, ma'am. For me, it depends on what I'm doing, you understand? Because why I said that is just like, if you are employing a 50-year-old old man who has much experience and doesn't know about the trending technology that is, and you have a, a fresh graduate that, he, that knows about the technology, about computer, about what is trending, so to me, I would prefer employing a fresh graduate who I can also uh, 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 teach. Yes, how to go about it. Because I know many people talk about experience, experience, experience. No matter how you go to any job, they will also teach you their own part, how they work. So uh, me, I don't believe in much of that experience of a thing. You understand? Because... There are people that are coming that has their own idea that might, their idea that will, they will bring to the table might even move the company to the next level. So you don't think that a 50 year old with his wealth of experience can save you the stress of training and doing all the other things you might want to do to groom the fresh graduates? Uh, he, to me, I don't think so. Why I say that is because one, the the, the strength of a 50-year-old man, the workload that he might be doing for me might be lesser than what a fresh, a young person. Why would it be less? Uh, why I said that is just one. Uh, you cannot compare the work speed of a young person and a, an elderly person. You understand? Because even at that, if I'm employing an, an, a 50-year-old man, you understand, what I'm employing that person is a kind of to be able to mentor people that are working around him, not giving him all the workloads, you understand, for him to be able to, you know, to, to do. You understand? So that's my own take on that. All right, thank you so much. Charlie, I will not try to do so. What will you not try to do, sir? Because of the age wise and his age as well. Because no matter how stronger you may be, when you are aging, it is one fact that you will lose some strength and you will not be able to be agile the way you're supposed to be. So, which of them would you employ? I would rather look for someone that is ready to exercise muscle, that is, the one that can agile, that will be fit for the job. The fresh graduate? Yeah. Okay, so um, for two reasons, to my own opinion. First one is that it's one of the ones that I believe that they are the brighter, they will make the future brighter tomorrow. One, and if I should deny him of his right, probably I'll lead him to do something which is not supposed to do. That is, indulge himself in doing bad things, which is not, I will not like to deny him of his right. And you because don't that think, is period and it's time to do so. And you don't think that 50 year old man, you are also denying him of his right by not letting him walk? Actually, the experience he, has, uh, he may have, he's supposed to have used it somewhere else, and those products of him should not be another valuable product to the public as well. Because why? If I don't because of his experience, I want him to die, or I should record it, a casualty on my, uh, in my organization, I would not like to do so. But then unemployment can also kill. If you don't employ the old man, Actually, he will not get... When you look at the ratio, you will know that... At least, there's difference between it. It's God that owns life. But the actual fact is that you know that we will not pray that young girls will die. Instead, we will not pray the old ones will die, but when we are going towards our thoughts, we believe that the older ones should die before the young ones. If 
you are the boss of an organization, would you employ a 50-year-old man with wealth of experience over a fresh graduate? Yes. Why would you do that, sir? An experience. Experience? Yes. And how do you expect a fresh graduate to have experience when you don't employ him? The damage that will come to my company because of the experience is where I go for the experience. Oh, okay. So experience is it for you? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, sir. I look at it that both are still okay. Do you understand? But sometimes we look at the old graduates. Do you understand that they have more experience, you know, than the new graduate as well, that is just coming up, okay? But that does not really mean that we are not going to employ the, the new graduates. We are going to employ them, and we also employ the old one. Are you, are you saying that if you have to pick in between the two, which exactly would you pick? I'll pick the old one. The that old has graduate. Yes, that has experience. So how do you want the young one to now gain experience when you don't employ them? Like I said, you know, if I own a company now, because I'm working with a company, do you understand? What we are doing in a company, when the old graduate comes in, we employ them. When the new one comes in, we employ them. When you ask me, which one do I want? I said, well, the one that has more experience. And the new one, we still have to stand out there, do you understand, to put them through, do you understand, so that they can be able to get to where they are going. All right, thank you so much. I will miss them. You do what? I will miss the boat. Oh, so you employ some older ones yes. with um, wealth of experience and some with um, and the fresh graduates? Yes. Why would you do that? Yes, because the people just come in, their experience is not is, is different with the people that have been for they have it's like you are you are learning a job. You are learning a driver. And as you are driving, that is how your hand getting strong. So for me to say I will is to enable those people that have worked for long. They can be able to gather a share experience with the people that are newly working. All right, thank you. Wealth of experience over a fresh graduate. Um, well, when one is about 50, uh, it's, it's very, very, very rare to get someone who is uh, still very, very uh, active as it's supposed to be. Experience is best teacher though. But you see, the vibrance of people who are very, very young is different. You can call them at any time, they will answer you. I thought I am looking young and that makes me young, but there are things I find myself doing and I get tired easily, but they don't get tired. And again, most of this old brigade don't even know how to use computer. And today, computer has become the in thing. Computer has become one of the tools used everywhere. ICT carries the day. And some of them, you cannot start teaching them. I'm a computer scientist. But if you want to teach an elderly person up to that 50 years old, he will tell you, what am I going to use it for? He will tell you, they cannot. In fact, you will teach and teach and teach and they will not well, understand. The person has the experience already. It is the fresh graduate that doesn't have any experience. Yeah, it, it, they will learn fast. They will learn fast. I believe in making the young ones, you know, uh, training them to come up. Because I don't like a situation whereby people are recycling themselves, what we are seeing today. In the, in the public service and uh, even in the public in the private service services. People want to recycle themselves, recycle, okay, if, if it is old, old, old people want, how do people make stands for their own children that are still in school to have a place when they leave? All it right. is to show you that they have imbibed new ideas, there are new tools they have used that you didn't have opportunities of using. And today, we are no longer the cut and cut and nail system in anything. Everything now is computerized. And then, don't worry if the old man has Knowledge, uh, it's, called, it's a computer literate, but he cannot, there are extent to which he can go because age will be telling you cannot, you cannot play with uh, age or you cannot, uh, what will I say, you can't cheat nature. When it comes, it comes. And we are thinking that when they are older, they don't, uh, they, they don't involve themselves in maybe like a fraud. But today we see even elderly people committing fraud, even making place for your child that's still in school and the others, you just want to find a way and cut corner for them. It's also a fraud. No, of course, I will employ a fresh graduate. Why would you do that? Well, uh, a fresh graduate is uh, between 32 and uh, 20 years. So these are the people that are trainable. So trainable people are people you, you can employ until they want to do, and they will do it. But then the 50-year-old man has the experience. 
and he will not even be needing you to tell him what to do. He knows what to do and when to do it. Uh, times have changed and so many things have changed. Even me, when I graduated, we hardly had a phone. So a 50-year-old man doesn't have anything to offer in this age. Oh, okay. Yes, so fresh graduates right from secondary school, they are computer literate. So there are so many things that goes with it. Not Thank just, you so much. Uh, not just a student. Now, if you happen to be the boss of an organization, would you employ a 50-year-old man who has experience over a young, fresh graduate? I will employ the young, fresh graduate because I want them to also have experience. The old man is already he's old. He will still even retire. I won't even benefit anything from him. But from the young graduate, I'll be able to benefit some things. In fact, people have some more experience than the... You don't think it will be too stressful to teach them? It will be stressful, but it will still be like, it will still be of help for them and also for us. Because they'll be able to make good use of it. But the old man is already old and quite weak. And he'll still be retired, so we won't be able to make any help of him. Any use of him, because in a 10 years or so, you will retire. Or well, then you like, can gain from his wealth of experience, don't you think? Yes, you can, but it's also better to even teach. Because if they should ignore the young graduates, how would they grow? They won't be able to grow. But those ones, they've grown, they know things. We can, we can actually even ask them for their help, for, just to help the young graduates. But it's better to employ the young graduates than the old ones. You know what they say about different people having different opinions to the same situation? Well, you have heard from Lagosians. You have heard their views on our topic for discussion today. I am Ewealth, and this is Coded TV.